Identity is something that all of us have struggled with at some point or another in our lives, defining who we are and subconsciously shaping the version of ourselves that we put forward into the world based on the experiences we've had in the past, either good or bad. Some of us unfortunately go to the extreme of completely disregarding our inner true self and fully identifying with this persona that we've created that we believe people will accept due to different reasons such as feelings of insecurity. This is a theme that is explored in various cinematic media and is a theme that I saw play out in what is still regarded as one of the best anime ever, even though it's rarely spoken about these days, Steins Gate. The main character of Steins Gate is a lanky 18 year old kid called Okabe Rintaru that has a distinct appearance because he walks around everywhere in a lab coat. He has a lab in an apartment building called the Future Gadget Lab where he conducts his so called experiments. He also has two friends with him, Mayuri and Daru that help him out. As we begin watching him, we see that he is very quirky in general, but one thing that I found hard to ignore is this person called Hoin Kyoma that he seems to often refer to himself as. Who is this character, why does he say that's who he is, and what is the reason for using this persona ever so often? In today's video, I'll be doing my best to answer all those questions by taking a deep dive into the different intricacies of his character. Welcome to today's video, The Unmasking of Hoin Kyoma. Hoin Kiyoma was a persona that was initially used as a way for Okabe to stop Mayuri from leaving and keeping her kind of entertained while with him to distract her from the sad realities of the world. When they were both little, Mayuri's grandmother passed away and she got very depressed about this and she would visit her grave every day after school. One day, Okabe saw her standing over her grandmother's gravestone reaching out to the sky doing what she called the stardust handshake, which to Okabe appeared to be pulling her up into it. It looked like that handshake was about to lead to a missing kid report on the 9 o'clock evening news and Okabe wasn't handling any of that. He freaked out and ran over to her and told her that she shouldn't leave, that she's his hostage now. This was a reference to a show about a mad scientist that they both watched together and hence the persona of the mad scientist was born. Now, from the main timeline that we're in at the moment, both Okabe and Mayuri have become young adults and the idea of Mayuri being his hostage is still present. But we never got to see more of what the mad scientist persona that Okabe proclaimed to be at the cemetery entailed over the years until now. We see him constantly refer to himself as Hoin Kyoma and he believes he's a mad scientist that is being chased down by a secret organization and they're constantly sending spies and undercover agents after him. Occasionally Mayuri plays along with it and so do some other people around him and it's easy to think that Mayuri is naive and doesn't realize that this is a bit it's also easy to assume that Okabe is only using this persona for her entertainment, but I believe it goes a bit deeper than that. If we look into certain times when Mayuri interacts with Okabe as Hoin Kiyoma, and the times when Okabe isn't embodying this persona, we can get a more concrete idea of the type of man Okabe is behind the mask, and the deeper reason as to why he does put on this persona. Now, in one of the first moments that we see Okabe and Mayuri together at the radio hall building by the vending machine, she asks him for money to buy an upa, and he says while being ho in Kiyoma that he's not going to give her money to buy a toy. In fact, he's going to show her how cool life can be, so he buys one for himself instead. We see Mayuri get really excited by the one that he got because it was a really rare one, and he ends up giving it to her. When she thanks him and shows her gratitude, he accepts it, but as ho in Kiyoma. And Mayuri says no, thank you, Okarin, which is her pet name for him. This moment shows not only a reason behind the persona that he created, but a glimpse into the bond he has with Mayuri and the type of person he is. The name Kiyoma in Japanese means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. Even though he said he would show her how cruel the world is, he in fact did the opposite by still getting the upa for her, even though she used up all her money. Showing how generous or kind the world could be, hiding the horrible truth that the world is in fact cruel. This persona started because of how grim the world must have seemed for Mayuri after her grandmother passed away and she wanted to leave it. Okabe cares so much about her that he created a fictional world with its own adversity that they need to overcome in an attempt to distract her from the difficulty or tragedy of this world, in particular the passing of her grandmother. Mayuri insisted on thanking Okabe because she doesn't want to diminish his inherent value and attribute his good action. So what she's obviously aware of is an act of being a mad scientist, showing us the viewers that she might not be as naive as we might think, and later on we'll see how she even verbally confirmed this. So this is one of the characteristics of the man behind the mask. He is kind and not only to Mayuri but 
to everyone that he meets and this was even to a fault. I may even go as far as saying that this was his main character flaw because it did get him in trouble a couple of times. After discovering that the phone microwave was actually a time machine, Okabe met a few people along the way, one of whom was Suzuha. When he found out that she was actually a time traveler who came back in his time to find her father, but on the day that she was meant to see him, he didn't show up, so she went back in time for her original mission. Okabe took it upon himself to keep her from leaving, kind of like what he did with Mayuri, so she could find her father, or was there another reason? His using of the D-mail here ends up adding to the complicated web of world lines that was being created. The second time we see this character flow was with Moeka or Shining Finger, when he trusted her to send the D-mail as well, even though he barely knew what she sounded like or what her intentions or motivations were. And a similar incident happened with Ferris, sending a D-mail that changed the whole culture of Akuhabara town. All of those things had catastrophic effects on their world lines, especially the one of Moeka that eventually led us to the climax of the show and the haunting phrase that would send chills down our spines whenever we heard it during the last half of the anime. All of this was because of how kind he was being to these strangers. Earlier on, I said this trait of his is actually a character flaw, and it wasn't only because it was to a fault, but it was because of what I believe is the motivation behind it. Okabe, or rather the mad scientist Kiyoma, was adding new members to the lab ever so often. There were a lot of people around now. It might seem a bit careless for something so important, but I believe Okabe didn't really care about the scientific breakthroughs. He just wanted friends. During one of the times he was abducted by Moeka and her gang, he tells her that it was just a game, it wasn't meant to be serious, and we even see him admit to Makise that maybe he just wants friends in this scene here. <laughs> and later on, even Mayuri says there's so many people around the lab now, so she doesn't have to be his hostage anymore. This goes back to his intentions and why I call them into question. Did Okabe try to save Mayuri from following the Stardust handshake and making her his hostage out of care for her or out of fear of the loneliness that he would face otherwise? Did he make Suzuha stay after not finding her dad because he wanted her to find him eventually or be happy with them despite not finding him? Or did he just want another friend? I do think there was a hint of his loneliness motivating a lot of the initial actions that he took. His need for friendship and companionship is something that taints the kindness that we see in other scenarios with his character. Like with him trying to help Makise fix things with her dad. She was already a member, but he still wanted to help her and when he offers this help, he puts on the mask to do so. Or the time when he went back in time and brought Daru a diet coke because in a different timeline, Daru mentioned that he would have preferred that instead of a Dr. Pepper. Or the very first action that I mentioned when he gave Mayuri the toy. These are all things that were just out of kindness and consideration for those around him. But I can't help but wonder if that's all there is to it. In most of these situations, just like with many others, we see him use Hoin Kiyoma as a mask for doing these generous deeds. It's kind of like Kiyoma does the good deed, but Okabe benefits from it in the form of companionship or admiration and the acquisition of new friends to stave off his loneliness. We see him do this a lot, in fact, the only time we didn't was when he was trying to fix the time paradox of Mayuri's death because of the tampering with time that they had done with the phone microwave and sending the emails up until now. It seems like he has used this persona so much since they were kids that Okabe just doesn't exist anymore or doesn't have a personality of his own. We can see when he went out on a date with Raku, he took off the lab coat and put on normal clothes for what seems like the first time in forever. And during the date, he's a bit awkward, shy, and reserved, probably because he had never been on a date before or because there just wasn't a personality there. Or maybe it's because he still saw Raku as a guy and had only interacted with them in the capacity of being home in Kiyoma. And when he goes back home and realizes what an awful date he gave her, he goes back to the shrine but as home in Kiyoma and as Raku being his student again, which is the only capacity which he had related with them in. This idea of his interactions with people as Hoin Kiyoma dictating the way he is with them as Okabe is further proven with Makise. She is the only one that doesn't put up with this persona on multiple occasions like when he wanted a favor from her to turn on the microwave while with Ferris so they could send the email. Or when she wanted to talk about her dad and he put on the mask, she said if he wasn't going to be serious, she wouldn't go on. 
From the very first interaction with her as well, she mocked him as her Kiyoma. And during the dark half of the anime when Okabe was trying to restore the timeline to save Mayuri, she was his rock, she was the only one he could confide in and seek help and support from to figure things out. During this time, we never see him don the mask of Kiyoma because of how serious the situation was. Makise even tried getting him to put it on one time and he said, so after numerous times talking with Makise with the mask off, during which I believe the personality of Okabe experienced some growth or at least was expressed more, we come to see aspects of his character as Okabe that we never saw before, such as confidence, calmness and decisiveness. We might think Okabe would be awkward or at least shy from what we believe he uses the persona of Kiyoma for, but here we see him make a move on Makise, expressing his feelings, being vulnerable and direct, asking her if she felt the same way towards him. His voice was not shaky and he was unwavering, he wasn't nervous. We see this in many instances during the dark half, like when she was sewing his lab coat and her shirt got wet from the rain. He doesn't get flustered or anything, he remained calm, neutral, was unfazed. And when he knew that Moeka was the one behind the attack at the lab, he confronted her with a fake gun. He even pushed past his morality at some point to assault Moeka in her apartment just to reverse the email that she had sent. These are all parts of him that we had never seen and there is a saying that people's true nature comes out in desperate situations. Except the last thing I mentioned, one would think that these are all desirable traits in a person, so why does Okabe wear the mask? Why doesn't he let these traits come through to the surface? One of the main reasons I can think of is insecurity. Okabe isn't very secure in himself and we see this in certain situations when he demands that he be referred to as this persona who in Kiyoma and the moments he doesn't mind when he is not. When he was defeated at the game of Reinet Battlers by Suzuha, we see Makise refer to him as Okabe and he snapped at her saying it's Hoin Kiyoma. He got so mad at her that she started crying. This was over her calling him his real name. This isn't the first time that she has done this so what was different? It was the situation. He was exposed, vulnerable and primed for ridicule for losing at the game that he was just bragging about. He doesn't want Okabe to receive that ridicule, which goes back to the point of protecting his ego as a result of insecurity. He puts this persona as a shield against that because he already feels insecure about himself and that would be too damaging. And we can contrast this with when they discovered the phone microwave was a time machine and Mayuri credited this discovery to him and she used his name Okabe but he did not bother correcting her. This use of the persona is something that is common in our day to day life and we see a lot of people put on a certain persona on like a tougher exterior to help protect their ego or however they actually feel inside from being attacked by the outside world. I'll be honest, this kind of added a level of complexity when analyzing this character because it seems so far he puts on the mask for compliments from others, takes it off for accomplishments he has achieved, puts it on for failures and takes it off in extremely dire situations. Kiyoma didn't just come about for Mayuri, Kiyoma was developed for Okabe as well. Kiyoma doesn't just ensure Mayuri is having a good experience of the world, he also ensures that Okabe is as well. And a good experience for Okabe means having a lot of friends that he can care about and also having their approval. Kiyoma protects him from anything that could jeopardize that which is also why I believe he was nowhere to be seen during the dark half. Okabe had to undo things that Kiyoma had built, he had to let Suzuha go, he had several ties with Moeka. Ruka and Ferris were no longer members of the lab and most of all he had to let go of Kuriso. This goes to show that the magnitude of his care for Mayuri is so much greater than any of these other desires that he had. But I will say that this scene right here probably stood out the most to me from everything with regards to this persona. After he returned to the beta world line and he was forcing himself to exclaim and declare his victory over the time paradox and CERN. We see Mayuri say this. Remember when I said Mayuri isn't as naive as we might think? Yeah. 
that statement she made was one of the most meaningful statements in the whole show in my opinion she could see just how much pain okabe was in trying to still maintain this kioma this truth that must never be revealed this pain and ugliness of experiencing her death over and over again he was holding it in for her sake because that's the type of person he is at the end of the day he will do anything and sacrifice anything for my yuri to not see the ugliness of the world and she said it's okay he can cry for himself that my yuri is okay now at the end of the day okabe is just an 18 year old kid that was lonely and wanted some friends like a lot of us at some points and the mask that he initially put on to keep his close friend from leaving was what he also used to protect okabe that is his ego by putting it on when approaching people and any form of critique or rejection will be faced and filtered by that persona, not him. While this anime has very interesting themes of time travel, predestination and free will, as someone that's interested in human psychology, I found Okabe's character and his use of the persona of Wayne Kiona to be a very interesting area that has been overlooked. These are just my thoughts and breakdown of the anime, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you enjoy content like this where we look deeper into things that were created just for entertainment sake because we have nothing better to do, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Make sure to like as well. And if you want to see the last video that I did breaking down the philosophy of Nanami Kento from Jujutsu Kaisen, click right here.